Hey traders, now I'm going to give out my trading ideas for major pairs. If you see over here, you, I'm going to cover Euro USD, TBP USD, USD CAD, Australia Dollar, USD Swiss Franc, and NZ USD and USD Yen. So let's uh, look at a chart for USD CAD. For USD CAD, this is the currency pair now is it uptrend or downtrend if you ask anyone they will say uh, price is choppy it's going sideways so if it's sideways then mark this area let me know it's very clear uptrend then it drop and it's going sideways now so the price gonna be ding dong ding dong over here so what I expect uh, over here the bias territory is somewhere buyers are placing in the pending orders okay first level is somewhere here okay first somewhere here second the sellers Still, there's a potential for the price to reach this level and this level. So I I, I I expect the price to drop to this level and then go up to this level first. If it drop again, then it's a downtrend. If it advances, then this is the next height that they can go reach up. Either they will reverse here or this further advance up. So at the moment what we need to focus is from here it, it's going to drop to this level I'll be looking to buy USD CAD at this area there's a first level second level the bottom of the structure is somewhere over here so I do expect the price to reach here or this, this level okay so at the moment I can't do anything with G uh, USD CAD so I, I will be skip this pass GBP pass literally we can make 250 pips to 1000 pips all the GBP pass you can see uh, I did the video the previous video now GBP USD I've shared in the previous video you can watch my analysis on that okay now I'm gonna go into USD Yen USDN uh, It's very visible to us sellers are defending this price and this is another key level I'm waiting at this area I want the price to reach here then I expect the price to drop drop not much la, drop also to this level so this area so I would not be trading USDN but I'm just sharing you my trading ideas for USDN not so impressive because only small movement which I can anticipate at the moment which is 120 pips that's a lot okay <laughs> euro USD a lot of people were saying that uh, it, it was downtrend market where it's gonna drop from here uh, their explanation is they see a trend line from year to year and they see another trend line dropping here okay now my my message is this is what they want us to see mm. so they want us to sell at this level they'll bring it up and then hover here and then 
they, they spike up but overall it's actually downtrend but if you waited at the bottom top of the structure you would have get a tr good trade okay. so now where's the top of structure this is the top of structure sorry this is the top of structure I want the price to reach here then I'll go short so if you ask me at the moment I would not do anything with EURUSD but I do expect the price to appreciate up so if you might think like but even since you know it's going to go up can we buy I think you can buy with your own money must manage your risk over here okay uh, Australian dollar It's actually an overall downtrend, but it's ranging here. Uh, this was a very good buy because it's the bottom. Okay. Now let's look at H4. Where can I buy? I would say you can buy at this level H4 uh, price is 0 0.70476 if the price drop to this level buy okay that's the price where can you hold the trade Where can you sell? Sellers are waiting at this zone. Oh, this is a very good sell area. Let me give you a price for that. Seventy-one sixty-six. If I were to sell, I will let the price reach in and drop. Buy. Seventy-one sixty-six. Okay. That's for Australia USD, New Zealand USD. Let's look at New Zealand USD. Wow, this is ranging. So in the range market, the best is to go short at top, go long at the bottom. That's the best advice. Now price is reaching towards the top of the structure. And if you want to sell, where can you sell? Sell is at this area. The price is sixty-eight ninety-seven. I mean, this entire area is a sell area. I mean, price reacher up to this level, you can go short. Oh, sorry, not short to this level, at least short to this level. Okay, and uh, buy territory is somewhere here. Okay, guys, so this is what I anticipate for New Zealand dollar and this is how many pips movement. Well, under 80 pips I tell you this week you don't make money uh, I don't know what to say la. <laughs> <laughs> literally all the pairs are in a very good setup GBP uh, GBP Swiss franc GBP yen GBP OD is bleeding since morning it bleed almost 77 pips GBP CAD have dropped it's 41 pips USD cash bleeding down. I, 
this week is it's, uh, it's good opportunity all you need to do is uh, use my training ideas mark on your chart wait at that zone and with a proper uh, money management try to enter if you have 1000 USD enter 50 cent or one dollar and then you can make a good profit okay so I'll end the session here